Okay, hello everyone! So, if you're not familiar with this game, this game made some splashes, what was it, maybe about two years ago? Big Metroidvania style game, if you're into that. Uh, limited one games did not do one. Actually, I, I'm surprised they didn't, but they actually did a normal retail release for this game after a long time. Before that, there was an indie box version they had a uh, statue of the head thing that's usually in most of the artwork for this game. Well, like I said, I'd have to get some weapons and try them out. So, but let's go ahead and start up. So, I did mess a wee little bit in the game. I got to what I'm assuming is the first boss. I did solely to get a little familiar with the game and to taunt Dan. <laughs> Who's in the chat right now? And uh, I'm just gonna do normal. We have a very Belmont look to our stance, though. The year was 2005 million, and Terminators invaded the world. Hey, the console version was pretty late to the party. So I believe this game was only made by one person, similar to Cave Story, if I remember correctly. Maybe Dan could correct me on that, but I, I'm pretty sure only one guy made this game, if I remember correctly. Sounds like death, man. And then we wake into the, this thing. It's just like, what in the fuck? Yep, Thomas Happy, I think was his name. Like his real name? Like his real ass name's Happy? What? <laughs> Oh, I didn't notice you can actually walk while ducking. That's actually pretty nice. But yeah, those things are save points. And if you played a lot of the old Metroid games, oh boy, is this thing really going for that nostalgia, even going through the different doors. Okay, I was going to say, Happy is a pretty unusual last name, though. So let's see, you can do that to stay in... Oh. So yeah, you can hold L1 and stay in place. So this game has some creepy uh, aesthetics though. Well, Metroid didn't usually go with the really, really bizarre aesthetics. This game has some really fucking bizarre aesthetics, man. Maybe they should get this guy to make the next Metroid. His boy... From what little I played, I mean, come on, many of the enemies even like, I mean, look at these things. Come on, you can't tell me that doesn't just scream Metroid. The explosion effect's pretty good too. I'm not sure how secretive this game is. There is a in-game map, and it even lets you, uh, Click in to set the uh, remind you that you can set a reminder that something is there. Oh, 
Oh, it is indeed very Metroid. And again, this. Yes, it is just. Like I said, just even transitioning through doors is incredibly Metroid. I'd be surprised if they even release a Wii U version considering the Switch. I mean, there is the Switch version. Loaded with secrets? Oh yeah, then they're definitely going very Metroidvania then. Let's see... Okay, I know I can't go in there yet. Like I said, I've gone up to, like, a boss. I, I'm assuming it's a force boss. Unless it's one of those ones that make it where there's actually a few different ones you can access at one time. You know, I kind of like when they do that. Yeah, the Switch has one, which is all the more reason I don't really see a physical Wii U coming out. Which is a shame, because, you know, right now the Wii U is pretty much cheap. I mean, Willie really now and probably a bit into the future is a good time to get a Wii U. But it's going to probably eventually start jacking up in price. Especially that control pad. I swear, when people start destroying the control pads and shit... Those things are going to become probably pricey. Let's see. Maybe I want to go. I can't remember if I win this one. Only one boss at a time. when you get more freedom but only one way to go oh yeah I remember this some weird glitchy thing yeah this game I have to say it's very impressive what I played so far I can see why Dan obsesses over it <laughs> yeah so they don't shoot down Take that. Man, what a bloody mess. Gooey. Ugh. Nasty. Yeah, I don't know about this guy, but I'd probably be freaking out if I was shooting, like, blood things. Now, the question is, do I need special guns and bombs to find secrets, or can I find some of them with this gun already? You see? He loves it. I don't know what the way he make of the story. He's in some lab in Mexico, and all of a sudden, he's in some alien ass fucking place so this thing's weird you can shoot and then shoot again and it'll split in the bullets pretty interesting design but yeah I I feel like when the switch came out a lot of people like um, bloodstain bloodstain was gonna get a Wii U version it basically got canned because of the switch and there was a lot of people who wanted the the Wii U version. And it's a shame. All the other guns are optional. Ooh, interesting. Optional weaponry. You don't usually see that too often in uh, Metroid games. Metroid Venia style stuff. Let's see. How can I bring up that wheel again? Now. Get that. 
high by the way, Paulus. There we go. I mean, what is the like? I don't know what the hell could be going on besides like alien shit. Like probably the only other thing I could guess is he's in some weird computer shit. But I don't know. This is just bizarre as hell stuff, man. A homing gun. Ooh, that sounds useful. Okay, I believe we want to go down here. Can I get in here? New. Like I said, I don't know if you need someone weapons and bombs to find like secret walls. It's crazy, eh? Now, I think it was the bottom one, or was it the top one? That's yeah, the top one. But there's definitely some way to get over there. Now, I have not killed the boss. You can actually go... I can even prove it right now that I have no trophies in this game, so I have not killed the first boss, so I don't know anything beyond that. Now, I did not try... I did... Yeah. I did do that. Let's see. I think he was in that one. So, what was in this one? Is that a secret area that is random? There's random shit in here? Now, I did go up here, and I'm just like, oh, how much you want to bet there might be something somewhere up there? It just screams random thing. I mean, if we're going, like, really full-blown Metroiding shit, <laughs> just saying. Anyway, this should be where I want to go, yes. You'll know when you get it. Okay. Now, I don't know if this is going to be a common thing for all these quote-unquote bosses, but it does scream very Mega Man-ish. I like how it's also a different color. There are two or three worlds that appear in random locations. Oh, so like the world is still the same, it's just somewhere else? Like the world itself isn't random, but it's... That's an interesting idea. Oh no! There's no turning back. Demon. Yeah, I'm kinda lost. I have no fucking idea what's going on, man. Ethetos. Ethetos says kill. Well then. Ugh. Okay, so he's completely... So I actually have to hit that underneath him. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's not good. Let me out. Nope. Oh, nope. Oh. Yeah. I gotta say, this is a kick ass music, man. Is that wet on the side indicating his health? I like when enemies have like a some kind of physical way of telling the weakening. Ooh, all those bombs are oh no. That's two hits. Those can't hold a lot.
Oh, there we go. Yeah, and they still had shots coming out. Wow, he just blew it. Oh, ooh. Uh, I can't get all of them. Is that bad? That's not bad, is it? Kind of interesting it turns into particles for you to heal. Uh, let's see. The map has different sections. Some sections are sequent and on random locations. So, yeah. So, the sections are the same. They'll just be in different places. That's an interesting idea. I don't think I've seen that before. Well, either way, there's no way I can get it if, if it's a loss. Insult encode. Laser drill, a powerful drill capable of cutting through walk. Oh, sweet. So, yeah, I like physical indications, though. Wait. Okay, so I gotta hold it. Yeah. So basically, I just want one in the walls and do this all the time. I don't know, this seems kind of like a lame way to find secrets. So those are breakable. Now, they didn't really look that different. Okay, so that does hold enemies. Power node. Pulling increased weapon item damage. So then I am going to see. It. Yeah, I don't really see a difference between the wall. So that means there's no, like, Legend of Zelda crack type of thing going on here. Is this literally the only way to find secrets? Or is there like someone bombs and things that also can destroy things? And one playthrough just checking walls. What? Good lord. Um... Wasn't... Wasn't there a thing all the way on the bottom? Yeah. Well, that gets through that shit quickly. Yeah, dang it. That's what I wanted to try. What? It doesn't... It doesn't go through it. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. You get, let's see... You get other items, but yeah, it's your main weapon way. So there are a few other things in there. There we go. Gotta make sure there ain't any meat in the wall. Uh, 
and some more of that weird glitchy shit. Wasn't the other stuff blue? How was that? Hmm. Well, I guess I'm gonna find out. <laughs> Wait, slithering snails, Batman. Fuck, maybe this is a computer. It's his fancy video game came to life after the explosion. Oh, come on, that just screamed. Different levels of stuff. Green is weaker, I think. See, I don't know what level of secrecy we're looking at here. Let's see. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean to go all the way down. Oh, no. Can I not make it? Okay, there we go. I'm gonna say I'm stuck down here, am I? Okay, I wasn't able to tell if that was water or not. Okay, so we seem to have a slight problem. Yes, we have a problem. We can't go that way. Let's look at this way first. Ooh, you're changing color. Yeah, at least you can still shoot those. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna. There's no way to get up there, it looks like, from here, not without any some kind of high old jump. Now, is this stuff ever hide anything, or is it just block your way to maybe get to potential walls? Man, that, that effect when shit disintegrates, though. Oh, God, you know. Oh, yay, some extra health. That's never a bad thing. Okay, so at most they might be blocking a way to a wall. <laughs> Music changed. Why would you... What would be the point of going down through that, Willy? Let's go over here first. Save point. Yeah, I remember all the secrets in uh, Caspian Symphony of Night. That game had really fun exploration for secrets because there were so many different ways to find shit. I'm not seeing the benefit drilling through that. Hmm. 
Oh shit, there's a door there. Oh shit. There we go. Now that's just kind of obvious. Oh, shit. That wasn't so obvious. Hmm. not gonna be any way up there. It's waiting death from above. Go down, please. Well, maybe there's a switch going forward. What in the hell was that? Oof! What in the fuck? Whatever the hell that was, it wasn't happy. I mean, I guess to be fair, I wouldn't really want to be shot at either. What is this, mother brain shit here? Another glitch. So that's three of those we found? Uh oh. Not liking the sound of how everything is torn super quiet. Not holding me. I can't get back out though. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, don't mind me. Man, this place is... I don't know about you, but this is way fucking creepier than Metroid shit. Go up or go to the side. Yeah, I wasn't sure if those were gonna fall. 
Yeah, what? What is all this shit? It's weird. I mean, Metroid's supposed to be the fucking alien planet shit. This stuff's just fucking creepy, disgusting shit, man. So I can't get through that. Now, does it mark? Yes. It does show where there's a continuing path. Hmm. I guess up we go then. See, is that supposed to be flickering, or is that just an issue with the hard whale? I'm not telling about the flickling. Okay, so that makes it sound like the flickling's a pawn then. Wasn't... Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so I went back up to where I was then, here. Oh! You know, I didn't... So, it... There's a little map for each... Hmm... So, that was a dead end, so let's... Was there any way further down we could go? I think there was a little further down we could have gone. Oh, not that thing again. Ow, that one hurt. Ow. But yeah, that makes me sound like the flickling is a thing for... That or maybe it's just trying to emulate NES, maybe. That could be it, too. Hell. Those things are creepy. So that looks like that's gonna be a shortcut. Oh, I jumped too soon. Whoa! Okay, you know, never mind, I... Woo, is that... Okay, that's not holding me. Is it reacting to the drill, or is that just some normal? No, I think it's just... Yeah, there it goes. Weird. <laughs> So we can't go down. See, there's a path over there where we can keep going down. I've seen do something to it. It can't be a coincidence that we've seen, what, three places being blocked off by the things? Well, please tell me that thing didn't we appeal. Oh, it we appealed. There's too many spots being blocked off. Well, if the weird code glitches, which would go into this being some weird computer shit, then it would have to be something at Modify. Whoa. 
Wasn't expecting to see you so soon. this fires a shot range burst of electricity Ooh, it's a shotgun century still can't get oh ah shortcut indeed but there was no door over you. Before I go, I want to take a screenshot. I figured that thing was going to be either a boss or something lethal. I need some health, too. Unlucky me, this is a save point over here, maybe. Aha! What's... What's up with that thing? Best weapon in the game. A shotgun and a Metroidvania? I don't know. Unless it's like a one hit kill, I, I'm kind of questioning that. Wayne's usually a better thing in something like this a lot of times. That's true. It goes through that. Yeah, you're right. It's too short. Oof! Ugh! Ah. Good lord. Oh, fuck, he's staying right there. That thing's terrifying. Give me some health. Uh, does it show you well? I'm, I'm assuming... See... What's blue? Because uh, there was a blue there. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That is one crazy fucking thing. Hmm. So yeah, blue would be save points. Oof. No, because there's blue up there. Oh, wait. Because that's on my TV, not on the screen. Yeah, it does look a little green on the stream. Okay. <laughs> I was like, don't. Oh, my goodness. What is a grenade like weapon when you need one? Oh, fuck. Oh no! Yeah, that's what I need. Oh, thank you. Let's 
Something obviously there. Oh, I do not like these things. Okay, that kills them pretty fast. What are these? Like, little mini desks? We'll go up first, and then we'll walk our way down if this turns out to be a dead end. Hmm. Kills him a lot faster, I'll give it that. That sound does not make it sound good. Ooh. We <whistles> only found another boss, it seems. Yeah, I don't know about best yet, but uh, I'm seeing some potential. So, is this thing gonna call me a demon? What? That thing... The fuck? Demon. Says kill. I'm assuming I need to hit its head. Whoa! Thank you. Yeah. Nope. Off everything. Sheesh. So I torn in the wedge shit when I die. Disintegrated. Wait. He. Mind machines? So what, I'm making clones of myself? Yeah, that's a question Neil Tom and I freaking goes through. I'm not supposed to hold him. <laughs> Has to be something vulnerable on him. Bingo. The old shit. Damn it. Now 
There you go. That's how you deal with it. I have to get on the high one. Oh, there's a platform now. I didn't, I didn't even realize that. Oh shit. A little close though. What the hell else can it be? that hard to stay up here? Oh, what the hell? I think I don't have enough life for another hit. Why? Why did that hit me? I was ducking. Why the suddenly did they start hitting me? That's weird. Doesn't question it this time. It's like, yes, mind machines. Well, eh, what else? Unless he's purely digital. Then it's just a weird question of. Fuck, I fucked that up! I jumped too soon. Oh, see? Did that again. What what's up with that? Honey, he's almost dead. Now he's just non-stop. Now he's just like, fuck you, whatever you are, demon. Come on, blow up. Oh, shit. 
Whew, that was getting close. Man, that that explosion effect's crazy though. Give me your energy. I can't get that last bit. Whew. See, I don't know what to really make of this imagery, though. It's either aliens or weird computer shit. That's the only two things I could think of. So we got a pit. Well, we have to go through the pit, because there's no way through that. And weird bubble shit. I'm assuming this is the other gun that you said is required. Address disruptor. Corrupts or decorrupts weaker blocks and enemies. Glitching the wall. So yeah, I can take him away and take him back. I'm turning enemies into useful blocks. Got a door there. Probably want to do this real quick though. Hmm. Forward or down? Well, I guess down we go. So it looks like when you do that to them, it just causes them to stay still. What, your regular gun doesn't count as a gun you need? <laughs> what? Whoa! Can it hurt me? Yes, it does. Okay, so some enemies do still hurt you. So I could use them to actually break through shit then. Now, are they only able to break some blocks? Oh, it's going down. There's a path down now, it seems. And I'm assuming that's what Dan's talking about now. Looks like I might have needed the other one. Oh, 
Oh, I can use that. So let's fold it down this way. What's that? Size note, pulmonary increase the projectiles of your weapons. the sticks. Hmm. Ooh, that's an interesting point. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the? The um, yo power often hi. I have no idea what a that says. It looks like there's more. Or well, maybe not. Nope, that looks like that's all in here. Well, that was some random. Save point? Hmm. Oh. Can't get in now. Can I access those? Yeah. There we go. What the fuck? You didn't touch me on the way down. Apparently they have like an explosion effect. There we go. I did not like that background. Glitch him? Oh yeah, I probably should experiment that. See what they do. So I guess it is some weird computer shit going on. What did they do? They tore on the platforms? No, they hold. Whoa! Are they like a hive mind? Apparently, they're all connected. Health node, combine five. Oh great, we got health shit going on here.
Two doors. Two doors, one path. That's a going up part. Uh, you. So either go down or up. Hmm. Well, I think it's unlikely to find much further to the left. I don't think we can get any more to walk bottom too much. If we're using the left side as a reference. So there's more space to the right and up. So up kind of makes sense to get to somewhere else. There's a glitch thing going on over here. Whoa! This place is artifact. Bleach. The hell? Does it show that? No, it does not. Is this one of the areas you were talking about, Dan? So it does not? Shit. So yeah, it doesn't even show it connected to anything. Everything looks so funky. Enemies look the same now. What do you guys do? Don't look like they did anything special. <laughs> 